Let me tell you a story. I'm 66. You're on your way to adulthood. When I was your age, the average age of a male that struggled with generalized anxiety disorder was 55 years old. Generalized anxiety is a state of sustained anxiety with no specific issues. You just feel anxious about everything for six months or longer. Those same symptoms are present in your generation starting at 14 years old. Anxiety and depression are like, are like bedfellows. They, they, they sleep together, they eat together, and they feed off of one another. And they're a destructive one-two punch that eats away at our sense of well-being and our sense of hope and our sense of capability. You live in that long enough and you feel like you want to give up. The best definition for depression would be the American Psychological Association's definition. So let me read it to you. It's a negative affective state, which means it's emotional, ranging from unhappiness and discontent to an extreme feeling of sadness, pessimism, and despondency that interferes with our daily life. I didn't start saying I had depression until I was actually diagnosed because I think misdiagnosis is a really dangerous game to play, or self-diagnosis, rather. I mean, a lot of people do that. A lot of people say, oh, I'm depressed, or I have anxiety. It's like, you know, not only can you be hurting yourself when you do that, you hurt people um, who actually have it. <laughs> Anything that I had that I felt like I could go to just didn't last. I mean, I think that has to be why so many people go to suicide because of it. It's just like there's nothing in this world left for me. It's like. Everything that used to make me happy makes things worse now. And I can't find anything to replace that with. And so it's just like, why? And why am I even here? And so people just give up. I think if a person is dealing with depression, they need to ask for help. Learning to have the courage to ask for help is very important. Because when you're in a state of depression, you actually don't believe there's any hope. If you know you need help, then get it. Seek it, find it somewhere. Your, your high school age friends don't know what, how to help you. Unless you are a trained expert or unless you've been through depression or are very close to someone who's had it, you probably have a lot of misconceptions about what it's like. Someone like a therapist or a counselor or whatever, they're gonna help you think about what you're going through better. Um, at least that was my experience. And so it can be something that's really scary, um, but it was so important for me. It can change everything, because it did for me. Self-talk is very important. From a cognitive perspective, my thoughts have a profound impact on my feelings. And if I let those thoughts wander wherever they want to go and I don't control those thoughts, they will control me. I don't like to think that pain is meaningless. So if you're in a valley, it's because of where it ends. This thing you're facing, depression, all it can do is lie to you. I mean, that's it. That's all depression really is. I mean, at least in my opinion, when you boil it down, is us believing a ton of lies. And you don't have to. I think more than anything right now, our world lacks empathy. We assume if anyone is in pain, it's either just like my pain or it can't be worse than my pain. And so if we lived in a world that was full of empathy, and full of, I have no idea what you're going through, and I can't possibly know what it feels like to be you. That would change not only how we help our friends, but just how we address people in general. And so that empathy, that, that compassion and selflessness um, can go a long way for someone. If parents were more aware of like shifts in, in, in their kids' behavior, they would easily be able to pick up on when things are going wrong and when they're not okay. Be a safe place, you know, because if you catch this early on, you can prevent a lot more damage. Depression doesn't have to be a life sentence, and usually it is not. We've got to be able to ask for help. There's always hope. There are places I remember.